there's anything handier than a knife when you're out in the woods, I don't know what it could be, but a close second might be a saw. Well, the folks at Old Timer have come up with the 2144OT, which has both a knife and a saw combined in one handy tool. We're going to take a look at that coming up next on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So the folks at Serade Old Timer were kind enough to send me one of their 2144 OTs, combination knife and saw, so I could show it to you. I kind of like the idea of having a, a knife and a saw combined together. You know, whether you're making notches for setting up your um, cook set or your, your cooking area or, you know, steaks or whatever camp craft you're doing, uh, a knife and a saw come in really, really handy. So what I thought we'd do is, Without a whole lot more rambling, because you know me, I'm prone to do that. We'll uh, take you down to the old stump top. We'll talk about the specs and features of this thing real quick. And then we'll see how well it does some of that knife and saw stuff. Okay, so here is the old timer 2144OT. And right off the bat, first of all, I'll just show you. This thing comes with a molded polyester sheath. Pretty stiff. It's got, I guess it's got some stiffener or something in there, but fits in really nice. And a belt sheath. I like the fact that it is molded so that when you do want to put it back in the sheath, you don't really have to uh, fumble around trying to open up a, a collapsed a collapsed sheath, which happens to me frequently with my old Gerber Gator knife, which is similar to this, but it doesn't have a saw blade. But it's got one of those just a soft sheath, and it's, you have to use two hands really to put it in. So I like the molded sheath concept. You really can do it with one hand. So we'll get that out of the way. Let's talk about the knife itself. First of all, this knife features a three and a half inch drop point blade, a 7CR17 MOV with a thumb stud on one side for right-handed people. So if you're a lefty, you're gonna have to use your finger like that, but you can still do it. But it's a single size thumb stud because the other side would get in the way of the blade if it had a double. And it's, it's a lock back, a double lock back design. So each blade locks separately. And it's coated with the serrated titanium coating that I really like. It's pretty tough stuff and it's kind of slick. So. It's got a really good edge on it. We'll do some feathers or something with it in a minute, but let's uh, take a look at the saw blade now. The saw blade is also locks open with a lock back. It's got the same coating and it's same steel. We're going to see how well this thing works and in just a minute also. The teeth on the saw blade are kind of triple cut teeth. Um, they sh look like they'll cut pretty good. We're going to check that out too. And then finally, you got the again lock back. It's got this um, snake skin textured rubber grip that's really grippy really um really comfortable to, to hold so one thing i will say if you're using the knife for any kind of heavy task i got a feeling this is going to be pretty uncomfortable here because that's kind of it, it falls in your hand right there well we'll just have to see and then i think using the saw and it's got a little thumb groove here a fingernail groove if, if that you can pull it out with saw should be fine and then it has a sleeved lanyard hole if you want to put a lanyard on it or whatever so Without much more rambling here, let's uh, go ahead and get to doing some of that knife stuff. Okay, so I got a pretty tough piece of wood here. Uh, I think this is a privet. I don't know, it's hard wood. And we'll just see how well it'll saw. We'll try it and see. Just kind of cut a little slice off of it. And this is some of the hardest wood I've worked with in a while, actually. And it's cutting, but it's, it's a, I mean, it's not a baco. So let's just see how well the thing will do a notch. Open up the knife. And again, see, this is just crazy hard wood. But the blades, it's got a good edge on it. Okay, so pretty decent notch. Let me see if I can find another piece of wood that's not quite as stinking hard. Okay, I got a piece of cedar here that I had been using for a bow drill bow and it's really shorter than I want it to be, so we'll try that. It's pretty dried out cedar. We'll see how well it, it cuts on that. So. Okay, it should be cutting on the pull because the blades are kind of angled backwards, so maybe I'm just not doing a good job of pulling it. 
but it's not cutting anywhere close to like a I would like it to okay so again we can certainly make a notch that's not a problem the blade itself it does a good job <clears throat> okay so I can tell you just carving that notch I've got some, some like pretty seriously um, thermonuclear type hot spots right here. These, this totally uncomfortable holding, doing any seriously hard work with this knife, you know, carving into this um, pretty tough cedar. I mean, the cedar's pretty tough stuff when it's dried out. Um, we'll try one more piece of wood. Just to be fair, we'll try a piece of softer poplar. See how well it cuts the, pop, the softer wood. And. <laughs> And it cuts it, but it, um, just to be fair, it's it's um, not nearly as good, in my opinion, as like a um, Swiss Army saw. But we'll we'll try a couple of feathers with the with the blade, just because it's got a nice edge on it. It's very sharp. So nice little feathers. But it wouldn't be a knife review if we didn't at least try to see if we can spark up a uh, ferro rod. And we'll start with a knife. And the back of the knife blade has almost no sharp 90 degree spine. So let's put it up. And we'll try the saw blade. The back of the saw blade is definitely a lot sharper. There we go. So it did pass that test, which is always important. If at first you don't succeed, you're not Chuck Norris. Okay, we have a quick look at the Old Timer 2144OT Copperhead Combination Folding Knife and Folding Saw. And I got to tell you, you know, I don't like to do negative reviews, but at this time, this one's going to have to be a no-go for me because um, for two main reasons. First of all, the uh, saw blade just, um, it doesn't cut very well. It does okay, but just not great. And then when it's closed up and you're using the knife, if you're doing any kind of heavy work with it, um, you get some severe hot spots right here from the spine of the saw blade itself. I just, um, I, I really can't recommend this one at this time. Um, you got to call them like I see them. So, but once again, thanks to the folks at Shrade for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, I would invite you to do so. I put out a new video every Friday and Saturday and several random ones usually throughout the week. As a subscriber, you'll have the opportunity to be notified of all the videos scheduled or random. And also, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the channel by doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. SurvivalOnPurpose.com forward slash Amazon takes you straight to the regular Amazon site. You do your shopping like normal. Anything you buy is a regular price. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help support the channel a little bit, and I really appreciate it. And also, one more thing, and I quit pitching. You can also help support the channel and help yourself and get a free audiobook download by checking out a free one-month trial to Audible.com. There'll be a link in the description below. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared, and I'll see you next time. Coated with that titanium, um, but it wouldn't be a knife of you.